success was sometimes more about than just being rich and famous. Sure, I'd love to play with LeBron on the Lakers right now, no doubt in my mind. But success is about this pursuit of greatness while at the same time enjoying the ride. Maybe you're living your vision of success right now. What does it look like? I'm Jake Kelfer, best-selling author of the books Elevate Beyond, Elevate Your Network, motivational speaker, traveling worldwide about how to bring happiness and success into your life. I believe that success is all about the ability to take action to pursue your goals and your dreams, but at the same time, building authentic relationships, lifting people up, not tearing people down, and of course, you gotta have fun along the way. The other thing that I really realized by playing basketball is this idea that we is greater than me. It was absolutely outstanding, and he did an amazing job. Uh, he elevates everyone, gets everyone up and moving. It's 9 a.m. and the kids were bouncing. People? are people. And at the end of the day, all we want to do is feel loved, to be valued, to be heard, to be complimented, to feel appreciated, to feel that we matter, to be worth. Sometimes one little act of kindness towards somebody else can change their lives forever because we make them feel good. The question that we have to ask ourselves on a daily basis is this. What is our definition of success? People will forget what you said. People will forget what you did. But people will never forget how you made them feel. So I ask you, how do you make other people feel? What if, when you walked outside of here after this and we go on to the next activity, what if you smiled at someone you didn't already know? What if you gave a compliment to somebody in your group? We can't control how much effort our colleagues put into their job, but we can always control how much effort, passion, and purpose we put in. And there's gonna be times when we wanna give up, there's gonna be times when we wanna quit, but when we can't control things, we always have the power to choose how we respond. Whether it be in our campuses or whether it be in our life, great leaders are not defined by their accolades or their accomplishments. In our pursuit of excellence as a leader and as a human being, and as we go through achieving our definition of success, we can't control everything that happens. We can't. But we always get to control what we do next. You know, when I get up in the morning and I'm before a gig, I feel like it's a championship day. I feel like I'm an athlete getting ready for my NBA championship game. And to me, that's an incredible feeling that I'm able to give both to myself, but also to give to other people to, to elevate their lives. Which is your ability to stand up for something greater than yourself. Your ability to inspire someone to achieve their true potential. Your ability in the face of adversity to keep going even if it's very, very hard. We can't always control what grades our teachers give us on our paper, but we can always control the amount of effort we put into those papers. We can't always control how people treat other people, but we can always control how we treat other people with kindness and with respect.